Welcome to the Enterprise Excellence Podcast, where our purpose is to help create a better future. Learn from our world's experts how to improve your organization sustainably. Learn how to achieve and sustain an excellence journey for yourself, others, and the planet. And I'm your host, Brad Jevons, coming to you from Brisbane, Australia. We are proudly brought to you in association with SA Partners, a world-leading business transformation consultancy. SA Partners are a truly purposeful company focused on helping organisations achieve sustainable improvement for themselves, others, and the planet. Welcome to episode 83 of the Enterprise Excellence Podcast. It is such a pleasure to have Mr. Milan Gadget on the show with us today. Milan worked at the Toyota for over 20 years. He is a global Toyota production systems assessor and achieved a gold standard within his Toyota plant. Today, we are going to discuss one of the key systems and focus areas Milan has had throughout his career at Toyota. 4S plus one. Let's get into the episode. Milan, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure and thank you for getting me involved in this podcast. Thank you very much. Yeah, cheers, Milan. Such a pleasure. Milan, what, what's your backstory, mate? Like, What brought you to work at Toyota? Oh, um, 1993, I arrived uh, to Australia from Croatia because there was a war over there. So um, always been hardworking. And when I arrived in Australia, I need to find work to support my family. So uh, I work, work in a job such as farming on a start and uh, leather tannery, a skin factory. However, there were no opportunity for growth uh, or development. So felt like I could achieve more what uh, the right company can uh, prove to me and give to me, you know. So I found an opportunity with Toyota in uh, 1996, uh, which at the time Toyota was a reputable and growing company and decided to take it. Well, and that's such an opportunity you got, like moving from, you know, coming from Croatia into Australia, having to find your feet and get set up for the family. And then you found your way into Toyota. Like, did you know going into Toyota, what you were going into? Be not, not really. Um, my journey with Toyota is uh, when I be- uh, began at Toyota, I uh, started undertaking several internal training um, uh, courses, also the dojo training uh, to develop myself. So, <clears throat> and this is where I realized um, this is why a company that uh, value input um, from its own employees. Uh, it encourages uh, everyone to share their own ideas uh, while giving the employees the skills and knowledge uh, to develop them further. Yeah. At, that, at this point, I realized I wasn't working in a job, but uh, uh, part of a team and culture that encourage my development and uh, growth. Specifically, um, outline from my uh, journey with Toyota is a great support from uh, uh, a senior management and uh, direct uh, supervisor. So that was a great journey. And where I started, and I realized it's Toyota, not uh, like other companies. Wow. So right from the start, you experienced being brought in and, and you know, trained and starting to be developed and you're getting supported from your supervisors, but also you, you're connecting with other senior leaders about the, about the site instantly. Yeah. Uh, so um, is the uh, people who really inspire me is uh, my, is actually uh, uh, that time was the production manager after become, uh, he became to the director of the, the Chris Herod. Also, my direct supervisor, Michael Jordan, and the uh, uh, plant manager, uh, Jack Hobbs. Uh, that uh, I got a great support, uh, as you can, as I mentioned, is uh, from supervisor, uh, plant management manager, and uh, after director, that is a great support. Example, Chris Herod, um, when I start my journey, uh, I start learning more about uh, 4S plus 1 or 5S, Actually, Chris Harrod uh, booked the time every Tuesday, one o'clock with me in the session. And we went to step by step. And uh, that's how I start my journey to learning not only 5S, uh, all uh, 
Toyota production system, but specifically on 5S. So that was a great uh, uh, motivation and experience for me. Well, Milan, so you you were new to the company in more of a frontline role then, and you had senior leaders spending time with you an hour a week to coach and support your development and skill set in 5S or 4S plus one and also other techniques. Uh Yes, uh, uh, as I mentioned on the start, uh, dojo, dojo training is actually uh, every, uh, every department in Toyota has set up the dojo, you know, and uh, I went to, it's not, uh, before I go to the uh, platform or, or workplace Gemba, uh, I got full train about safety, quality, Toyota value, uh, Toyota production system, and the open up completely my picture, what uh, I can expect in the Gemba when I start working. So that's, that is an amazing experience and uh, uh, my learning and my development. Also, um, I find out the opportunity to progress, you know, from a frontline person, a team member, um, I achieved the assistant manager position. So that is a really great uh, environment to work and uh, how they value their uh, people. Well, that's amazing. So you, right from the start, you had um, development going into you to help you, you know, really kick off from the, even before you hit the line through the dojo. And then you've had ongoing development the whole way through the career with all the leaders around you. Well, and with, with Toyota and the whole concept of continuous improvement, and particularly for us at Plus One, that we're talking about, when did it really click with you? When was that moment in your career that you went, okay, I get this. I understand the purpose of it. Uh, look, uh, 4S plus 1 or 5S, uh, I would like just to um, uh, identify why we call 4S plus 1 in Toyota and uh, other organization using the 5S. Also in Toyota, we start using the 5S, uh, but uh, because it's uh, plus 1, as you know, the... 5S is a, a sort set in order, uh, shine, standardized, and sustain. And the, based on that sustain level, uh, that is uh, actually plus one because that uh, show us the importance of that last one. Uh, I will talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, so that is, uh, I just would like to explain why is the 4S plus one. Uh, so that is uh, a sustain level is the most important. And... Uh, uh, that's why they call 4S plus one. And I start, start to realize uh, on the start, I was very skeptic about 5S because it uh, um, required a lot of time. Um, and uh, and I think um, maybe, maybe it's uh, too much, to be honest. Then I start to realize uh, how is a 5S uh, or 4S plus one or 5S actually uh, uh, improve everything, you know, number one, safety priority. You know, I feel very safe. I haven't got any potential dangers around me because it was 5S was an uh, excellent condition in Toyota. So that is the number one. Uh, I realized the safety is number one priority of the 5S. Plus, I find out a lot of benefits of the 5S. I eliminate uh, what we call in Toyota Mura and Muri, that is uh, overburden and uneven, and also the uh, muda, a uh, waste. I find out is uh, how is a uh, five has helped me to re- reduce all that waste around me. Wow! So the one, the one system, four S plus one or five S, really played a large part to achieving many improvement outcomes across the plant. Definitely. Definitely. Um, and what I find out, uh, then I had more training, uh, even in Japan, uh, when I become a fundamental skill trainer for Dojo. Uh, I find out is uh, uh, from the Japanese culture, 5S is uh, respect to people, you know. Uh, and that funny thing is that they always start using the toilet as the example. And how we respect each other. If we, uh, after using the toilet, if you left everything clean and uh, and uh, uh, 
beautiful environment for the next user that is show how you respect other people. So that that was a great uh, uh, journey for me and the learning point. Uh, yeah. and then I find out the 5S, 4S plus 1 or 5S is, uh, is not just a, 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 a cleaning that is uh, actually great system and a complex system. Well, and what's the what's the main outcome or the main purpose of it? So there's the elements that it gives you safety, and it gives you say helps you eliminate waste, achieve reduce unevenness, all these good outcomes. But how does it do that? How does creating a visual work environment allow you to actually get all those outcomes? Um, what I mentioned, uh, <clears throat> Brad, is a five S. Uh is a methodology or is a systematic approach to workplace uh, uh, organization. So this method, including what I already mentioned, uh, 5S is the sort, set in order, standardize uh, and sustain, or in Japanese version is uh, Sayuri, Satan, Seiso, Seiketsu, and Shitsuke. is uh, generally speaking, the step of uh, 5S involve going through item in workspace, removing what is unnecessary, uh, cleaning, uh, performing maintenance, and uh, making sure that um, things become habits, you know? So uh, that step should occur in order, in this order, and there must be a plan. Uh, uh, for performing the task. Uh, so based on that step, either on a regular basis, that is a really important thing. And the first three action of the uh, 5S uh, is uh, uh, sort, uh, remove all unneeded items from your area, create more space. Uh, second step is uh, set in order Everything got a uh, place and uh, what we need and is on a place and it got the home position, labels, and uh, uh, organize your uh, uh, place at the most efficient way. Third one is the shine. That means maintain that first two and also uh, make ready for next use. So that's what I already mentioned before is uh, respect to others. Uh, Toyota, uh, Toyota production system and Toyota manufacturing is a focus a lot of uh, respect. Uh, that is a, a clear picture of Toyota Y 20, 20, uh, to 2011, sorry, is uh, that is a, two pillars of Toyota Y is the continuous improvement and uh, uh, respect to others. So that. That is a, a five years becoming foundation of the lean. Uh, and uh, in Toyota, you can imagine uh, to do the standardized work uh, without five S. Yeah. So <clears throat> what I mentioned uh, is the five S is a system uh, implemented by Toyota Motor Corporation. So uh, the, the system was developed as a why to make the just in time. The, uh, as you know, the Toyota uh, production t- uh, system house and the most in- efficient why. So <clears throat> uh, this type of manufacturing in- to produce only the amount of our product is need and uh, when it need. So <clears throat> having an organized workplace that you can visualize uh, to maintain itself allowed uh, just in time manufacturing uh, pro- to proceed more smoothly. Uh, and this type of environment easier to see problems. Uh, and what uh, uh, Chris Harrod always used to say, uh, I never forget that, is a standard reward pass is standard reward accepted. Wow. Well, I could imagine that, Milan, that if you've got a goal to be just in time where you've minimized inventory and whip and all that, and you're really producing at the pace of the customer, being able to visualize process and see the problems is going to be critical, isn't it? Because you need you need to be able to deal with prop- problems rapidly and simply in that sort of really slick operating system. Definitely. That's what I mentioned is uh, see abnormality at a glance and the taking actions. Um, 
But uh, what is important thing is uh, everyone get involved uh, from the higher level of the man- management, even director, uh, to the frontline people. And uh, in uh, Toyota, uh, uh, is you don't have to ask when you see your manager last time because they involve in daily. Even I can say I see director at least twice a week in uh, Air Gemba. You know how is Toyota big organization, but uh, Chris Harrod was everywhere. It is unbelievable. And uh, again, uh, uh, he's as director, uh, lead by example. Example, uh, he walked through and if he find out a small pipe on, on the floor, he pick up that. And that is a we show frontline people we saw that, oh my God, that is something amazing, you know? So that's what we need to follow up, you know? So that that is a great motivation and the great examples. Wow, so there's that key element there of the, there's that key element there of the leader, most senior leader, Chris Harris even, you know, leading from the front, doing Gemba and demonstrating the right behaviors. You know, like he said, I guess, the, the standard you walk past is the standard you set. That's a really powerful comment. Yes, correct. Um, and what he, uh, what I learned uh, from Chris Harrod especially, and in Japan, uh, I saw um, that is becoming culture, uh, uh, a habit. Uh, is that what we say? Four S. That is more action, uh, uh, but plus one is actually a habit, you know, and the mindset. Yeah. So the four S's are. Sort, you know, get rid of what you don't need, only have what you do need, set an order, you know, set up what you need where you need it, make it visible, shine, shine. You know, keep it clean, keep it right for the next person, for the next step, and then standardize, create that visual standard of what it should be. Correct. That's, then, Milan, the key one we've been talking about is sustain. And I know as I go about companies and two things ever happen. You talk about 5S and they go, oh, you know, we've tried that before. Didn't work. Or you get the language of, oh, we've, we really tried at that. It didn't stick. How do we make it stick? Now, of course, in that culture, there's a real chance that we could make it stick, but it's the plus one that's key to that. So, Matt, I I know you've already covered a little bit on the plus one, but do you mind if we delve into that? What is the plus one? What are those key things, both systematically and culturally, that can be done to help 5S sustain and actually move forward? Um, mostly, uh, this is a great point, Brad. And uh, mostly, why the people, uh, and actually, many companies, uh, I was uh, witnesses on that, that uh, many companies say, uh, especially from like people, frustration is the starting. 5S and the uh, files. And the why so many company files is, is uh, inadequate employee training. Uh, Sometimes it may just be workers have not had effective or enough training about what is expected of them. Um, this is especially common when not all workers were in, uh, involved in the original 5S efforts. You know, uh, this, uh, this situation can also arise uh, from employee turnover, which can place new employees into a position where the others will have more training. You know, so um, in this case, new employees may find themselves unable to keep up due to the lack of knowledge or practice. So that's what we say. Um, Toyota is a great example. What I already mentioned, the new the new team member example when coming to the uh, uh, start getting uh, to work for Toyota, first thing is going through Dojo and the training. Uh, Another thing is uh, uh, lack of time. Many organizations say a question to ask, our current shift and schedule allow adequate time to complete the 5S tasks. Sometimes schedule along with the high demands uh, hinder the employee's ability to complete organization tasks after shift. So, uh, and the most important thing is uh, some organization think, oh, that is uh, cost too much. No, no, they are not understand the benefits of the 5S because it's a common, uh, common thinking is, 
oh, this is just cleaning. Uh, but it's not. Actually, uh, 5S uh, uh, affect all major uh, KPIs. Example, cost. Uh, safety is number one priority. We are, I already mentioned that. Uh, but uh, also the efficiency, uh, uh, what we already mentioned before, eliminate all kind of waste or muda that improve your efficiency. Quality. If you get ready for use, if you use the quality tools, uh, uh, that will be also affect on the quality. Uh, HRD, that I already uh, mentioned how I uh, develop myself, uh, human resource uh, development. So uh, that is not just uh, a cleaning, that is a, a, a effect on all uh, major KPI, what I already mentioned. One good example is from my BHP uh, experience, um, in a peak down, they have a big shed with 150 uh, uh, stainless steel lockers, one meter by one meters. And uh, we find out that is, uh, oh my God, that was so many stuff inside. It's not organized. You can see actually what is inside. And they uh, had a plan, uh, already approved plan to build a new shed for the light vehicle service. And then we approach and creating the plan uh, how to eliminate and make space on that current shed to avoid to build the new shed. Uh, and uh, when we create the plan and represent to the general manager, uh, and he really liked that, uh, we eliminate what I say the first step uh, on uh, unwanted items. We pull that out, we uh, provide a small locker for uh, each individual person in a crib room and we create space. So that is a, uh, was a cost saving between $250,000 to $300,000. So that is a great example. How is a 5S effect on the cost? It's amazing. As you're saying that, like I'm hearing the example there of, you know, at BHP cabinets with inventory in it and just by going through sort, you know, and set in order and shine, you're getting creating a massive amount of space. But I'm also thinking about, you know, 5S applied to our day-to-day -day time in that regard. You know, like if we sorted our day-to-day -day time of what we were spending time on and got rid of the stuff that really doesn't create value and then set in order and standardize what does create value and keep it structured and shined and standardize it, wow, you know, I think we'd actually all gain back because the two biggest things I hear in many places is I don't have enough space, okay, 5S. And the other thing you hear is I don't have enough time. Well, it's, I don't know, I was just thinking of that example of applying 5S to your own personal time as he was talking yeah. about that. You could, you could basically get outcomes in both, both areas. Yeah, and also, also it's very important what I uh, mentioned already, the everyone get involved in the 5S. Uh, um, and uh, also first three S is uh, actions. Um, so that's when you achieve the good results, uh, how you uh, keep standard, how you standardize that and the keep on that level, you know? Uh, so uh, they have to be structured, you know? And uh, uh, in Toyota, uh, it was everyone has a role and uh, committed to the 5S of the process, using by Kamishibai for the management, and also uh, frontline people uh, becoming the daily activities, you know, that and the visualize, 5S is visualized on a board, actually uh, the people can see uh, all action what need to be done. Uh, uh, so uh, to be, to standardize and the structure, you need to create a visualized board, also the check sheet example. Uh, so, and the roles of individual person from the director general manager to the frontline people. So uh, example in Toyota, um, general manager uh, do monthly inspection, uh, inspect overall 5S conditions, uh, check the board uh, visualize system and identify uh, opportunity to support uh, 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 frontline people. Manager uh, is a fortnightly inspection. Uh, also uh, confirm uh, 5S plan uh, through the role of process confirmation. 
and also once a month uh, join to uh, uh, audit the 5S together with the general manager. Uh, superintendent, uh, weekly inspections. Uh, so track action, sign, uh, and they board when it's inspected, uh, do process confirmation also for uh, uh, to make sure the supervisor and frontline people get uh, enough support from the superintendent. Supervisor is uh, doing the weekly audit uh, and uh, die check. Uh, daily check and in, in the support frontline people. So like the list of action, assign responsibility, also process confirmation. Uh, in the, in some organization, they got a 5S champion, you know, so that is a, 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 a support supervisor and the train the crew. But uh, in Toyota, they haven't got 5S champion. That is uh, all crew is the champions so they are on board, uh, maintain 5S each day, and also find out, uh, uh, ident uh, identify uh, opportunity for improvement. So uh, no one understand Gemba and uh, workplace better than uh, frontline people. So uh, it's very important uh, from the managers, superintendent, supervisor, uh, support people uh, with their idea and uh, improvement idea, and also teaching them and training them and support them with uh, uh, continuous improvement and the uh, problem solving. And sometimes the crew can definitely identify the opportunity to improve, uh, but they don't know how to do problem solving. So that is a supervisor, superintendent, support them. And uh, <clears throat> example, uh, we achieved the goal level uh, in Toyota in the powertrain um, after announcement of the closure. 2017, Toyota uh, was closed down, as you know, and uh, that was announced on 2015. So many people find out what are we doing when we're closing down, you know, and uh, and uh, that is, that is a, what is the mentality, mentality of uh, uh, Toyota people, you know, uh, until the last day, we achieve the best global line. Uh, in, and of course, uh, for standardized work, preventing maintenance, and also the process uh, point management. Why is the 5S foundation of lean? Because uh, you can't perform a most efficient while your standardized work if your workplace is not organized. How you can identify from a uh, uh, maintenance point of view, uh, how to go from uh, reactive to proactive actions, the 5X definitely. If you can see a uh, machine is nice and clean, you can see, identify uh, abnormality at a glance. Example, oil leak, uh, uh, strange sounds, uh, uh, smell, you know, and that immediately action, and that is a small uh, 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 repair is uh, 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 actually the uh, stop the major breakdown and the lost efficiency and productivity. So that is a 5S, uh, uh, is amazing tools. So, so there is a lot of opportunity of the 5S uh, to be foundation of the uh, uh, lean operation. Yeah, well, and I had um, Michael Jose on the show a few episodes ago, and he made a pretty powerful statement, which was, you know, no visual process, no problems, because you can't see the problems. You know, it very much relates to what you're talking about there. That's right. That's right. Uh, uh, the, that's a, that is the, like a car engine, you know. If you've got an oil leak, uh, a mechanic needs to spend hours to clean up your machine to find out what is the root cause you know, uh, to implement countermeasure. With the clean engine, it's very easy to identify a leak and, uh, and that is a, a quick repair, you know? So that, that is amazing. And the uh, uh, people uh, uh, always ask questions, uh, how is the 5S uh, 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 regarding to the standardized work? Uh, what we mentioned, the most efficient why? Eliminate all waste and the muda, what we already mentioned that. So that is a, a mostly abnormality control. Yeah. 
What a great episode. Remember, you can go to our website, enterpriseexcellencepodcast.com backslash downloads to get hold of a 5S review template, which can play a part in helping sustain your 5S journey. Please like, subscribe, and share this podcast to help others gain insights and create a better future. Milan, there's one thing I want to go back on from what you mentioned is that that piece on, on sustain, which was you mentioned that in the work area, there was a visual board, you know, measuring and tracking the 5S journey that clearly showed the actions that team members are doing. But also you mentioned Kamishi by, which is understand visual task that you can see visually using 5S, whether a task was done or not. Uh, the powerful, wow. Yeah. The powerful thing you're talking about, Milan, is basically that from the most senior leader, the director, all the way down to the frontline employee, there is standard work. There's a role they play at a different different rhythm in helping to sustain and improve that journey of 5S, but also continuous improvement. Definitely. Uh, a mission by or a mission by board is uh, also um, is a practical visual control tools to assist uh, with uh, allocation, sequencing, execution, and follow up of uh, key work routine uh, task. Also, uh, we most organizations use the T car system, you know. Uh, but uh, what is the pur- purpose? Mind think of the commission by is a simple PDCA cycle. You know, um, example in Toyota, uh, we have a purpose to uh, of the commission by is board is understand, uh, develop myself and develop others. So um, three, uh, actually four focus on the commission by is. Uh, is a one way, is a Toyota way. Uh, one tool uh, is a FMDS board, uh, KPI three board, or Hoshin Kendrick. Uh, one language is a uh, three pillars. Three pillars is a standardized work, process point management, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, maintenance, preventive maintenance, and uh, uh, one. One time, cycle time is a four S plus one or one. So that is a four uh, four major thing. What is uh, on a commission by board? Mm. And simpler PDC yeah. cycle plan to check and act. Mm. I I really love with that Milan too that it's actually like you said it's Toyota's way. It's Toyota's pillars, Toyota's approach, Toyota's system. I think there's some power in that too, isn't it? Because Toyota isn't trying to use someone else's system. They're using their system, and I, I think that's powerful. And I know where you, you work now at PHP, it's a similar approach, isn't it? They have their system, their way, that you're part of helping to lead that through. Uh, definitely. The uh, concept is uh, exactly the same, to be honest. Uh, the lean operation system, uh, that is a BHP operation system, like Toyota, is not exactly copy and paste, uh, but uh, uh, you got the 14 practices, uh, which one is cover up. Uh, almost everything, uh, like what in Toyota, so maybe different approach, but it's the same concept. Um, definitely, uh, all my journey in the BHP currently is uh, uh, is a pretty new system, uh, and uh, starting to get uh, in, involved, and uh, people start recognizing, and many sites recognize uh, the BHP operation system is actually a tool which wanted to help them uh, uh, to on their daily task. Uh, again, same routines like in Toyota, and the people see the benefits of that. Yeah, the power of it for me is with both cases that you've spoken about. You know, they've 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 created their way. Yes, they've drawn on best practice, but they've created their way. It's so powerful. Milan, for our audience, what would be the two minute tip you would give them if they're looking to start? A journey of excellence or improve with 5S. What would you? What would your tip be? Brad, what we already mentioned is, uh, I always call that 5S training. Yeah, uh, so that uh, crucially, is employees at all levels of an organization must receive adequate training in 5S for the system to be effective, 
uh, included upper management, supervisor, maintenance staff, employees on the floor. Um, in 5S, everyone is responsibility for doing or their part uh, or to maintain the system. And uh, this occur in workplace where people understand the thinking behind 5S, not just the steps and tasks uh, they must perform. So 5S training should explain the pillars of 5S in the application in the workplace uh, and how is the 5S uh, fit in the company goals. And, and again, it's very important for, for each role uh, and each person uh, will play, play in maintaining an effective 5S work. Very simple word, everyone getting involved. And uh, from the uh, director to the uh, shop floor people. That is, that is awesome advice, Milan. Thank you so much. Milan, what's been a recent insight you've gained? What's been a recent aha moment for you? Recently, I got a good example um, um, of uh, my daughter, boyfriend, got the uh, Rotten Coffee Company. Uh, and we had discussion about the uh, 5S and he, he heard about the 5S, but uh, again, like many companies, no understand the core of the 5S. Uh, we spent a uh, couple of hours talking about 5S and the guys actually uh, uh, get all that information from me. And uh, what's, uh, what was surprised me after two months, I went to visit them and they took me to the factory. That is a small factory. That was amazing. Uh, everything got aligned. Walkway got aligned. Uh, everything got a home position. Uh, storage got the minimum, maximum. We got a rack. Uh, they identify um, uh, stock taking before they taking. Oh my God! They say uh, sometimes three or four days to do a stock take. Uh, currently, they take one hour. So that is a great amount of time they reduce. So uh, also uh, uh, dispatch the product, final product uh, is amazing. And, they, and, and the, uh, Ryan mentioned to me, Milan, this is uh, unbelievable. This is a so open focus for other area and, and, and unbelievable. And what is the most important thing is that implement uh, after the three action steps, implement the check sheet, standardize, uh, uh, and get uh, also involved. And he start lead by example from his uh, office, what is a really great example. So, yeah, uh, I always say lead by example. Yeah. Start, what, what? With your, start with your desk. When the people coming in your office, you know, and see you maintain your, your area and your workplace, uh, uh, and what I mentioned, the Chris Harrow director, uh, uh, how he picked up the pipe from the floor, that is, that is a powerful. Yeah. Boy, that's an amazing story, Milan. He, he, um, Ryan, is it Ryan would have had to pinch himself when he got into that conversation because I'm guessing he didn't originally know your background. <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah. that's a great connection to get. That's and he, right. and his, his business is really well set now to be able to optimize the current business and then grow into the future. Like you've really, well, he's helped himself and you've helped him really achieve a great foundation for the future of that uh, coffee business. That's right. That's right. And uh, uh, they find out uh, in these days uh, is, uh, is uh, uh, 5S is uh, what, as the foundation of the lean. Uh, if the people uh, uh, understand uh, the purpose uh, of the 5S on the start when they are small companies, um, that will be, when they start growing up, that will be much easier to to, to the daily production or, or, or efficiency and our gains or affect on all five KPIs, especially cost. You know, in these days, uh, uh, everyone needs to efficiency and uh, quality but on a fast time, you know, so that, that is a great. Also, I had a bad experience of uh, what is a, a, a ruin, uh, not only lean, also the 5S understanding is a micromanagement. Uh, from some company, I got a really bad experience of really micromanagement and and uh, uh, old school, you know, uh, the uh, manager or, or CEO of the company start 
from the small, like Ryan, and uh, grow up in a big company, but uh, they they haven't got lean operation at all. That is a lot of waste, a lot of mood, and they, they can't identify that. So that, again, my tips is, especially for the small company and the growing up company, implement 5S from the start and you will see the benefits. Yeah. And Milan, from what you're saying, it's really implement 5S from the start plus respect for people. Definitely. The respect to people and respect to each other. Uh, example in the BHP, when we start the BHP operation journey, uh, in a mobile maintenance example, we create uh, tool stores and uh, and uh, 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 home positions. Uh, each uh, maintenance has got own tag. When they take the tools, they post their tags. Uh, so supervisor or everyone else know where is the tool currently. Uh, after use, uh, clean up the tools, put back on the home positions, take the tag off. Uh, also identify uh, during the operation, identify tool that gets a problem. Uh, straight away in, uh, in example, what is the, in Toyota we say call pull and done and uh, immediately report uh, uh, damage or, or, or breakdown and, uh, and to take quick action. So that is respect for others, definitely. And that, that's a really powerful technique you spoke about there too, Milan, where as a respect for others, you could go to a shadow board and actually see that the tool's gone, but you can actually see who's got the tool. That's that's an amazing improvement. That's brilliant. Definitely. Milan, Milan, if people have questions or want to reach out to you, how can they get in touch with you? Um, on my mo- uh, mobile is uh, 0417-415-828 or my email is uh, milan.gedic at bhp.com. Well, Milan, thank you so much, mate. It's been such a pleasure talking to you today. Thank you for sharing knowledge and insights of your amazing career and what you learned. And thanks for helping us create a better future. Thank you, Brad. And thank you for opportunity to be part of your podcast. Cheers, Milan. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye. What a great episode. Remember, you can go to our website, enterpriseexcellencepodcast.com backslash downloads to get hold of a 5S review template, which can play a part in helping sustain your 5S journey. Please like, subscribe, and share this podcast to help others gain insights and create a better future. There were two key takeaways for me from this episode. Firstly, onboarding and developing team members' skills and capabilities. The second, everyone's role in sustaining and improving 5S. The first key takeaway for me came from the conversation with Milan regarding the onboarding approach at Toyota. Using a dojo or training practice room before a new employee starts working in the factory. Coaching and mentoring ongoing from direct and senior leaders to improve team member skills. Without this onboarding and ongoing team member capability development, employees and work areas will change, skills will reduce and a 5S journey will falter. The second key takeaway for me is everyone's role in sustaining and improving a 5S journey. Milan mentioned training, coaching, and development support from all leaders. He also mentioned the systematic Gemba Walk rhythm that included the director, management, superintendent, and supervisors. The volume of walks and reviews altered depending on the level of seniority, but ultimately, everyone had a systematic part to play in going to where value is created in the company, reviewing, learning, reflecting, and taking action to improve respectfully. What an amazing episode. Thanks again for your time and knowledge, Milan. Thank you for helping us create a better future. Bye for now.